Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will talk about auto boxing and unboxing in Java. So if you are new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe and also please don't forget to press the bell icon. So without any further delay, let's start. What is actually auto boxing? Auto boxing in Java is a process of converting a primitive data type into an object of its corresponding wrapper classes. So we know that we have primitive data types like int, long, double, char as well and they have their corresponding wrapper classes as well which is integer class, long class as well. So the process in which the primitive data type values are converted to their corresponding wrapper classes objects that is known as auto boxing in Java. Now let's see what is unboxing. Unboxing in Java is automatic conversion of an object of the wrapper class to the value of its respective primitive data type. So these are done automatically by compiler. As you can see, this is quite opposite to the auto boxing itself because in auto boxing we are doing conversion from primitive to objects, and here we are doing conversion from object to primitive data types. Now let's see when actually auto boxing is done. So there are mainly three cases when auto boxing is done. First one is when we pass a primitive data type as a parameter to a method, but that method actually expect an object of the wrapper class related to that same prim primitive data type. In the second case, when we are assigning a primitive data type to a variable of its corresponding wrapper class. And the third one is in the collection framework, when we add primitive data type values to the defined type of collection. So we'll see all these three within, with examples as well. The second is when the unboxing is done. So similar to the auto boxing, the unboxing is also done for all those three conditions. First one is when we pass an object of wrapper class to as a parameter, but method is actually expecting the corresponding primitive types. Second one is when we assign an object of wrapper class to its respective primitive data type. And third one is again in the collection framework, but in the unboxing, it will be done when we are trying to retrieve some data from collection framework. Now let's see few examples in code for all these types which we have discussed. So now let's start with auto boxing with an example. So this is my class auto boxing. So here let me create main method. So this is the shortcut for creating main method in IntelliJ IDA. So here I need to create one method public which is not returning anything public void and uh, let's name it as print integer so in this case actually it is expecting uh, an integer as an input so here let's just try to print this i okay so now we are ready with our method which we'll be using for uh, auto boxing so in the main method uh, i need to call this method so let me make it static as well so that I'll be able to call it without creating the object. So, so I have here a primitive data type int is equal to 10. And while calling this print integer method, I'm passing this int value. So if you see, these are actually not of the same type, but this specific process of converting this primitive int to the integer wrapper class object is known as auto boxing. So now let's just save and run it. So here you can see 10 is printed. The second one is suppose I have a, a primitive data type long and where I am storing some value suppose 100 L and then I have the wrapper class object long which is let's say C and I directly assign its value. So let's try to print out both these values. So here I'm printing, first I'm printing B, which is the primitive data type. Then I'm printing C, which we got by assigning the direct value for uh, the long wrapper object. Let's save and run it. So here you can see automatically again, when we are assigning it, the auto boxing has been done. And this B100L has been converted to a long object itself. Third one is when we are using 
collection framework. So suppose I have an array list which is expecting list of long values. So now when I'm trying to add, you can say I'm trying to add list dot add, and here actually you can see it is expecting a uh, an object of wrapper classes which is long capit with capital L. But while adding itself, what I can do, I can add 10L. So 10L is actually nothing but the primitive data type value. And if I try to print the list, this primitive will be automatically auto box to the capital long object and add it to the list. Now let's just try to print the list as well and execute the program. So here you can see it was automatically auto boxed. Now let's see the unboxing process as well. So for that, let me create another method public static void print in. So here it is actually expecting the primitive data type. So now we will be passing uh, an object of integer and it will be automatically converted to primitive data type. So let's just try to print this. And now we'll create public static void main. So here I have this integer a, which is equal to new integer 10. So now while calling my print int method, instead of passing the primitive integer, I am passing the wrapper class integer. So if I save and run the program, we can see this integer wrapper class object has been converted to the primitive int type. So that's that specific process is known as unboxing. So similar to the other examples which we have taken for auto boxing, let's try to do, do them as well. So this is my integer object B, which is having value 20. So let me declare one primitive data type C, which I'm directly assigning the value of B. So now similarly, let's try to print both these values save and execute the program so here you can see the unboxing is done automatically during the assignment as well now let's see the third case as well where we are using it in the collection framework so here this is an array list which will contain the objects of long so we have added one new long object in this list now let's try to create a primitive data type for long which is long value and let's try to get the first element of the list list dot get zero so here you can see there is no compilation error now let's try to print out the value of long val which we have got and execute the program we will be expecting 100 to be printed for this so here you can see automatically unboxing was also done in case of collection framework now let's see what are the advantages of auto boxing and unboxing. A Java programmer does not need to explicitly or manually write the code to convert primitive data type to the wrapper classes or vice versa as well. So this conversion will be automatically performed by Java compiler. Even uh, these steps are already taken by compiler automatically. There are still few pitfalls and few things to remember. These are we can use uh, equal to equal to operator for primitive data types comparisons but for wrapper class we should not be using this we should be using dot equals method for comparing the wrapper class objects second one is do not compare the primitive types with the wrapper class object so it will actually result into null pointer exception if we try to compare primitive types with the wrapper class objects and the last one is another risk while using auto boxing and unboxing is cached objects. So the value of method creates the boxed primitive type and it caches the frequently used objects. So that can cause issue in your application. Now let's see a few disadvantages which are there for uh, auto boxing and unboxing. Due to the automatic conversion, it creates a lot of objects which will be eligible for garbage collection soon. And that results in a very frequent garbage collection. And as we already know, whenever garbage collection runs, uh, most of the time it impacts your application performance up to a bigger extent. So it can potentially slow down the speed of your program. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. So if you like the video, please do like, share and subscribe. I'll see you next time.